Today we're going to show you some techniques that you can use to drastically reduce the time it takes to edit your photo shoots. Let's get started. For software, we'll be using Lightroom, which we pay $10 a month for. To cull our photos, we'll use Photo Mechanic by Camera Bits. It's a little pricier at $150, but you can download a free 30-day trial to see if you like it. We will also use P-Fixer, which is $99, but you can download an alternative called Visco Keys for free. You just may have some technical issues with it because it is now an open source program and no longer supported by Visco. Both do similar things. Just a quick note on how we organize everything. We create folders with the date and shoot name on our external hard drive and then create three folders inside, raw, selects, and catalog. We'll drop all of our photos from the shoot into the raw folder. We also create a new Lightroom catalog for each shoot we do. This keeps the catalog from getting too bloated and keeps all of your shoots segregated. You don't have to do it this way, but it's the method we like best. Instead of importing our entire shoot into Lightroom, we first like to cull the images and only bring in selects, leaving all of the undesirable shots out of Lightroom. We like using another application called Photo Mechanic to cull our photos because it's incredibly fast. I'll open the raw folder and hit T on every photo I want to bring into Lightroom to tag it. As you can see, Photo Mechanic loads the JPEG previews of these raw files super fast, which makes it incredibly efficient for culling. Once I have tagged all of my selects, I'll go up here and choose Tagged to show only my selects. Then I'll drag all of my photos into the folder titled Selects. Whenever we bring in a shoot, we like to use the same preset across all of our photos to give everything a cohesive look. I just went out and shot some photos of Rachel and Carlton, so I'll bring these in on import and apply a preset that I want to use on all of these shots. If you aren't sure what preset you want to edit with, you can skip this part for now. You can go ahead and build standard previews, but also click the box to build smart previews as well. Once we've imported our selects into Lightroom, under the Lightroom menu, we'll go to Preferences. Click the Performance tab and select Use Smart Previews instead of Originals for image editing. This should speed up the time it takes to switch between photos in the Develop module. Smart Previews also allow you to edit images when the source file is not present. So if you were to copy your catalog folder onto your laptop, you could still make edits without having your RAWs with you. Now, before we go into the Develop module, we can actually make batch edits in the Library module. Most of the time, you'll find you shot a series of photos all underexposed or with an incorrect white balance. As long as it's a basic adjustment available under Quick Develop, you can highlight all the photos that need the same correction and quickly apply it across your entire selection. Now another great tool to speed up your editing is called P-Fixer. This allows you to set custom quick keys for just about every possible function in Lightroom. Now this does cost $99, so if you don't want to spend any money, you can download the free trial or you can use Visco Keys, which is similar. Once you have P-Fixer installed, just click the icon up here and click Preferences. Under the Mappings tab, you can see we have all of these functions that we can map to any key on the keyboard. Now, I'll only map the functions I use most often. In this case, I have the temperature adjustments mapped to option left and right arrow. I mapped tint to semicolon and apostrophe and exposure to option up and down arrow keys. My other most used functions, copy and paste settings and paste previous settings, I also mapped out. So now in the develop module, I can use these quick keys to expedite the editing process. Instead of using the cursor to change each parameter slider, it's all adjustable from the keyboard. You can copy and paste all of your photo settings with just one key and easily paste from previous with one key as well. Another tool you can use is a synchronize function. Make all necessary edits to one image and select the rest you'd like to have the same adjustments and click Command Shift S or your own custom quick key and immediately paste those settings across all selected photos. Obviously, if you need to do any cropping or specific brush adjustments, you'll need to do it one by one, but these methods should save you a lot of time. Let's recap. One, cull in Photo Mechanic. Two, import into Lightroom and build smart previews. Three, easily make batch adjustments in the library module. Four, use P-Fixer or Visco keys to map common adjustments to quick keys. We hope you found these techniques to be useful. If you have some of your own that we did not cover in this video, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next week.